this game, you know. Even myself coming up to now, I feel when I was a player coming into these games, really looking forward to these big that games. Type of an encounter, that type of atmosphere, United take the tip off and Conor O'Keefe drills it forward. Stephen Walsh goes in chase, hooked away by Elworthy into the centre of the park. Good strong challenge there from Adam Thomas and Mick McDonald. Just goes back to deal with the situation. However, it will be a throw in for Longford Town on the far side. Will be taken by Shane Elworthy back in the starting lineup for Longford this evening. Competent player for many seasons with Longford Town. A spell cross channel with Fulham a while back. Good footballer Shane Elworthy. He throws the ball down the line. O'Keefe with the challenge. The ball goes out for a goal kick. Luke Dennison. Made a number of appearances for Galway United last season while on loan. Made one dramatic penalty save. His first touch for Galway United was a save from a penalty against Cabin Teeley at Stradbrook. Played a couple of games after that then. But Dennison. Just looking at the formations, well, Keane, you can see, as you pointed out earlier, Hurley seems to be in a more advanced position. He seems to be kind of like a number 10 role. Effective there on Wednesday evening for fast chunks of the game and provided the assist for Mikey Rose. First goal, as Longford tried to make a little bit of ground on the left. Mark Hanratty does enough to win a throw-in that will be taken by Ben Lynch. Lynch looking for power, headed away by Hemmings. Hanratty has it back for the town into power. Lovely little disguised pass from power to Ben Lynch. McCormack with the challenge. Here he shows neat footwork to manufacture a yard of space. Stephen Walsh will again put McDonnell under a bit of pressure. Dennison clips it back into the United half where Clark is beaten in the air by Conor O'Keefe cushioned header from O'Keefe Thomas just can't pick it up McMenemy talented midfield player for Longford nips in to win it back ultimately though it will be a throw in for the Mullingar man Conor O'Keefe on the far side for Galway United Hurley steers it forward Walsh goes in chase, forces another throw in. Ed McCarthy wants to take it quickly for United. Leaves it to Connor O'Keefe. O'Keefe to McCarthy. Back to O'Keefe. Clips it into the area. McDonnell with the header. McMenemy. Good passing range. Tried to slip Adi Amo away. Bruder though stood his ground and tried to pick out Stephen Walsh. Header for McDonnell. Robinson. Industrious midfield player too. Barker to Lynch. Lynch's attempt at clearance. Blocked by Bastian Heary. Yeah, a bit harsh there, Keane. You know, it, it, it was point blank range really for Bastian Heary. What's he supposed to do? The ball comes straight into his midriff. Damien McGrath in charge this afternoon. Will referee the FAI Cup final later this month. Next month, rather. Hemmings will take the throw in for Galway United, not too far away from the home dugout. Hemmings to McCormack, back to Max Hemmings. Stephen Walsh with the flick. McDonald heads it away. McCormack to Walsh. Walsh tries to take it down under pressure from Barker. Strong challenge from Barker. Wins a free kick. Chris Campbell, the assistant, deems that a foul was committed there by Stephen Walsh and Michael Barker. Vastly experienced player in the SSE or Tristy League. Michael Barker. Stephen up to his usual, you know, he, he doesn't let anyone settle at all, whether it be left back, centre half, he's just 100% committed all the time. Bruder to Ed McCarthy, McCarthy, Conor O'Keefe, again Walsh, the battle with Mick McDonald. McDonald tries to shepherd the ball. Walsh doesn't give up on it. Stephen Walsh shows great strength. Surely wins a free kick. Free kick given by referee Damien McGrath. Again, the nuisance value of Stephen Walsh perfectly illustrated there, Ollie. Yeah, and, and as well as that, it gets the crowd going as well, Keen. You know, he, he's a, a thankless job at times, Stephen, where he just chases everything uh, and he makes it very difficult for defenders. And again, there, just to show it, just only after saying it, I'd say within 30 seconds to a minute, that he doesn't give anybody uh, any chance to rest in their lowers when they're defending. You know, he chased them down and makes it difficult all the time for players. 
free kick for David Hurley on the far side plenty of bodies committed forward by John Caulfield's Galway United Hurley with the left footed delivery into the area was just beaten to it by Robinson Hanratty adds to the clearance only as far as Conor O'Keefe O'Keefe just dinks it forward but Ben Lynch is going to let the ball trickle out over the line and it will be a goal kick for Longford Town James Keddy and Gary Cronin just have a word there with Mark Hanratty Dennison tried to find Shane Elworthy just too much on Dennison's goal kick and it will be a throw in for United Conor O'Keefe wants to get the game back underway quickly it's United want to play with a bit of urgency Hurley to Ed McCarthy Ed McCarthy inside to Bastian Heary nice pass from Heary to Dave Hurley Hurley with the cross blocked by Elworthy but good approach work there Heary crafty footballer O'Keefe opts to leave this for Killian Bruder who was going to arrow this one into the area Thomas Finnerty, Walsh Heary all in the area Hurley and Ed McCarthy not too far away Bruder with the throw in Elworthy with the header Hanratty in power Here he's shot blocked down by combination of power and Robinson but nonetheless it will be a throw in for United Here he might leave it again for Killian Bruder but opts to take it quickly Here he to Max Hemmings Hemmings with the cross Finnerty just can't connect with it McDonald heads it away Connor McCormack Finnerty Heary gets there ahead of Lynch. Free kick for Galway United. Following that foul on Bastian Heary by Ben Lynch. Yeah, he was brave there in fairness, Keane. Um, you know, he could see that the high challenge was coming from the defender, but he, you know, he, he didn't shrug it in fairness. So. Good opportunity for, for Galway here. That set piece just a couple of yards outside the box. They have a good few lads that can um, take the free kicks. David Hurley seven goals this season all from the penalty spot six in the league one in the FAI Cup certainly looks as if the Corkman Farwell Nyarkwil Gega that he looks as if he fancies this one McCormack the United skipper not too far away either Hurley formerly of Cove Ramblers looks as if he's going to have an effort here Dennison has organised the Longford Town Wall Dave Hurley goes low and hard and referee Damien McGrath gives a free kick against Killian Bruder for what nobody in the ground seems to know except the officials but it will be a free kick for Longford Town as Caulfield queries what happened with fourth official Ben Connolly yeah look I, I can't really say 100% but he, he seems to have went in and impeded the wall trying to maybe shift one or two players out of position um, for the shot a low shot of goal so it's obviously something that the parties are training but obviously they weren't thinking the referee was going to be watching um, have an eye on, on the set piece and the fellow that was going to win on top of the wall Dennison with the free kick for Longford Adi Amu with the header Hanratty puts Hemmings under a bit of pressure Hemmings showed good strength there to fend off Hanratty's challenge and it will be a goal kick for Connor Kearns the Galway United goalkeeper it's been a relatively good start from Galway position wise you know uh, the, the one thing about these big games you, you, is you want to get plenty of touches and plenty of touches early just to get your confidence going any bit of nerves you have in your, you know, in your system get it out quickly good header there from Barker Conor O'Keefe steers it forward Elworthy takes it down and then drills it forward himself header from Robinson header from James Finnerty for United McMenemy with another header Elworthy O'Keefe Robinson shows good awareness to take the ball down but just didn't make the requisite connection with his attempted left footed pass Walsh to Heary Heary again nifty footwork from Bastian Heary over the top looking for Stephen Walsh Walsh with the cross takes a deflection Ed McCarthy might get there ahead of Elworthy that he does good challenge though from McMenemy he'll do that all night tidy midfield player Dean McMenemy Elworthy tussles with Ed McCarthy and again McMenemy comes back to Dennison Dennison to Mick McDonald McDonald clips it down the line looking for 
Clark, handball given against Conor McCormack. Yeah, the last two half chances we had there, Keen, um, McCarthy won there. Maybe he could have taken it on after, you know, he took a touch a bit heavy and it was dis- he was dispossessed. Maybe he could have taken a shot on and it could have been a deflected goal or anything at all. But just to, to have a goal would be a bit brave um, when it comes to across from him um, to shoot. Hurley. Down the line to Ed McCarthy. McCarthy drives forward with a bit of purpose for United. Challenge from Robinson. Corner kick for Galway United. Caulfield, passionate as ever in the technical area, urges his team forward. It's very hard as a forward to predict when McCarthy's going at pace at people because they are expecting him to whip a ball in, but not with his left foot. More, more often than not, he's trying to find his right foot to get a... Uh, cross in so it's frustrating at times for a centre forward waiting for a, a ball to be delivered Dave Hurley with the corner kick for Galway United Stephen Walsh with the header headed off the line by Mick MacDonald Longford survived that little scare Stephen Walsh did well to get there at the front post Walsh tries to win it back Conor O'Keefe for United cross goal block oh, from Elworthy yeah. cry for handball goes up tad ambitious play on says referee Damien McGrath, Darren Clark drives forward himself now for Longford Town. Faced by Conor McCormack, Clark gets into the United area. McCormack does enough. Adiemu hits the deck. Free kick given against Jordan Adiemu. Yeah, there was, there was an offside um, by the linesman as well. But again, Clark got that ball and um, took it down in the ear as, as delivered by the keeper. Great t- first touch. He's a danger. We saw him here last week, Keane. He's, he's a threat coming in from the, from the wide position. He needs to be, but watch all evening. Finnerty to Heary. Adam Thomas. Back to Connor Kearns. Kearns to Killian Bruder. Bruder tries to switch the play. Challenge there from Hanratty. Throw in from Max Hemmings to Bastian Heary. Heary inside to... Adam Thomas. Finnerty back to Connor Kearns. Kearns. Back Minimi takes it down and Clark carries the ball. Forward. Has to go back though to Aaron Robinson. Ben Lynch now for Longford Town. Lynch. To Robinson. Parker. Power, Barker advances, McCormack nips in, Longford still have it, Joe Power rolls a pass to right full Shane Elworthy, Elworthy comes inside, so it's good awareness to pick out Clark, Clark's cross, Hanratty couldn't take it down, Robinson though has it for Longford, goes for a long range effort, ambitious, we saw the shot was on, Robinson who has scored three goals this season for Longford useful player in the centre of the park Ollie, but just wasn't yeah. able to test Conor Kearns there as you said Keane a tad ambitious from, from her you know it's very frustrating for the team really because it was a nice little pass to play there the way they got out of the left back position here across the pitch that nice little move between one or two players over to Clark and his ball into the box it's just frustrating kicking out of play from uh, Parker and Walsh collide there. Home crowd not happy that a free kick wasn't given, but they can expect a physical battle between Michael Barker and Stephen Walsh. Barker has played with Bohemians, Bray, Pats and Shells, played a number of years ago for St. Patrick's Athletic against Galway United in an FAI Cup clash at Richmond Park. Jonah Younger suffered a serious leg injury for United that day and in many ways United eventually got ended up being relegated that season and the injury suffered by a younger a real blow in that campaign long ball towards Adeyemo who had drifted into an offside position according to the assistant on the far side Brian Fenlon Jimmy. 
Stephen Walsh penalty. gets there ahead of Barker and oh referee Damien McGrath gives a free out John Caulfield just can't believe it from his vantage point Ben Connolly the fourth officials telling Caulfield to calm down Colin Fortune is now having a word like, first of all he got a touch on the ball he moved it away from the defender and for the referee to say a free out you know whatever about not giving the penalty and saying play on but giving a free out for that Keane as you said Ollie, whatever about not giving a penalty to give a free out was a, a curious decision and Longford get another quite soft free kick there for crowd and the far side good voice too brilliant to see travelling supporters here at Eamon DC Park and Longford Town a club with plenty of tradition in the past couple of decades They've won a couple of FAI Cups cross into the area McCormack heads it away only as far as Clark Clark does well to pick out McMenemy McMenemy to power, power with the cross, header from Finnerty. McDonnell is still pressed high up the pitch. Connor O'Keefe smashes it away, gives both teams an opportunity just to reset and get their shape back once more. Hanratty chests the ball inside. Connor Kearns comes off his line. Finnerty though couldn't take any chances and picks out Bastian Heary. Heary switches the play to Ed McCarthy. McCarthy under pressure from Robinson and Clark. Clark to Robinson. He needs to mind the ball better there, uh, Keane. The ball came across to McCarthy. You know, <coughs> it can bounce off him. You know, we have to get in position back in and going across the pit, switching the play across the pitch, and we're losing straight away back to Longford. It has to be a bit neater and better than that from McCarthy. Barker to Hanratty. Ben Lynch. Finnerty with the challenge. McMenemy to Aaron Robinson Robinson locates Shane Elworthy Elworthy to Clark back to Shane Elworthy inside to McMinnamy Robinson just slightly overhits that pass for Hanratty but it was a nice couple of moments there from Longford they held on to the ball quite well Ollie yeah look at it again um, ambitious ball again from, from um, Robinson there for trying to pick out the outside left player you know he, he probably should have dropped off a bit the, the winger and look for the ball to feed but um, kicking it out of play again bit of a waste Kearns with the goal kick header from Barker all the way back to Luke Dennison <laughs> Dennison to Elworthy always ready willing and able to get forward Elworthy to Clark, Clark faced by Conor O'Keefe. Clark, good skill from Clark. Left foot across into the area. Header from Hanratty. Elworthy at advance. His shot blocked though by James Finnerty. And Elworthy's ability to drive forward nearly rewarded there. Walsh again, excellent awareness. Similarly so from Heary to Thomas. McCormack tries to put Ed McCarthy away. McCarthy has a bit of space to dash into Ed McCarthy from Limerick. Checks inside. McDonald with the challenge. Free kick for Galway United, according to referee Damien McGrath. Yeah, look at the comeback and double up on uh, McCarthy. He was trying to get it back in to get a shot off, but uh, a bit frustrated on his behalf, you know, just another couple of feet and he was in the box for a penalty. United players perhaps querying the fact that a yellow card wasn't awarded, but McGrath has let the game flow in the early exchanges here at Eamon DC Park. Hasn't been a caution thus far. It was a good counter-attack, King, because Longford c could have scored up the far side as well. They, they had a couple of half chances there. The ball fell nicely to one of the players, but a good block, good defending by the goal uh, defenders. Ed McCarthy, Conor O'Keefe and Dave Hurley not too far away. Hurley has placed the ball carefully. His effort, though, blocked by the Longford wall considering the fact that you had a WNL game here following 
a wretched day yesterday. Pitch is in good condition by Noel Connolly and his ground staff who were here early this morning. But Adiemu has an opportunity here for Longford. Adiemu to Hanratty. Hanratty across goal. And Galway United fortunate there, Ollie, that there was no one charging in at the back post. Yeah, look, it's a bit of a, um, a nightmare clearance from Kearns. Um, you know, he hasn't looked as short as he was in the middle half of the season. He was keeping clean sheet after clean sheet. And last couple of weeks, you know, I've been conceding an odd goal here and there, you know, not finger pointing at him, but, uh, you know, the, the third goal here against Longford in the 3 all draw. It came in at the near post. You'd expect a keeper to come out and take the head as well as the football um, from an attacker, but um, just looked a bit jittery there, maybe a bit of nerves or whatever, but it missed cueing the ball. Thomas with the header. Hurley, Robinson dinks it forward for Longford. Bruder beats Adiemu in the air, but Robinson manages to pick out Ben Lynch, who advances on the left for the town. Ben Lynch faced by Max Hemmings good block from Max Hemmings throw in though for Longford Town yeah, going back to the two free kicks from Hurley as well Keane it has been very poor hitting the wall both of them four times and the other one was a free output you know it has to be better than that he had been at least you know uh, threatening the goalkeeper corner kick rather than a throw in yeah, it's a strong sun there in the rise as well Keane down this side of the pitch that minimum goes short Ed McCarthy though wins it back for the home team. Good work there from Ed McCarthy who charges forward for Galway United. Ed McCarthy does well to advance further. Ed McCarthy with an effort blocked by Ben Lynch but brilliant work there from Ed McCarthy. The Comer stand salutes the effort, the enterprise of Ed McCarthy there and it will be a corner kick for Galway United, Ollie. Yeah, good turn of pace in fairness. He, he left the, the Longford fellow behind him and ran the whole length of the pitch. It just slightly unlucky that they double up on him again coming across and closing down you know, for a corner but great work again by McCarthy. Ed McCarthy scored for Treaty United against Galway United here at Eamon DC Park last season. He's just now 25 yards or so from the Longford area. Hurley has an option to go short. He does so to Heary. Heary back to Dave Hurley. Hurley challenged there with power. Throw in for United and Killian Bruder scampers across to take. Yeah, there's obviously something planned there from the training ground, but just the ball bounced up in Harry. But normally he's a lot better here. He's, he's he, in fairness to him, it's one quality he has. His first touch is excellent. Football seems to have gone flat. Gary Cronin rolls it to Ben Connolly, who issues a replacement. Throw in from Bruder, header from Finnerty. McMinnamy heads it away for Longford. Hanratty just adds a further few yards with another header. Hemmings into Stephen Walsh. Walsh heads the ball down into the yeah, six-yard box. That was a, he was watching to see was there anybody running. It was a great header down in fairness, but it, the, the finity didn't anticipate where he was going to put it. McCormack thought about the quick one. Instead opts to leave it to the Newcastle West man, Killian Bruder. Bruder is going to fire this one into a packed Longford area. Takes a deflection and Dave Hurley with the oh, effort. Yes! And the ball ends up beating Luke Dennison. Galway United hit the front courtesy of Dave Hurley, Ollie. Yeah, look at it. Was it one of those near post ones again? The two, in fairness, with a bit of height in the near post. Great flick on. And Hurley made his run from the edge of the box. Uh, anticipated the flick on and put it the splash in the back of the net. Good volley from fairness. One. Dave Hurley very effective in Bishop's Gate on Wednesday evening and he clips his eighth goal of the campaign for Galway United the seven before have come from penalties but this evening here this afternoon at this stage still the game is going to go into the evening but David Hurley has edged Galway United ahead for the first time in this tie Ollie yeah look at hopefully you know that there's, there's, uh, they can kick on and, and Look, at it. it's, it's, I don't think it's going to be the end of the goals tonight. You know, but, you know, we could do it another cushion, another goal. But it's a good start, a lively crowd, as I said, and give a bit of confidence to the whole team and put a pep in their step. Lynch looks for McMenemy. McMenemy loses out to McCormack. Walsh went for the flick. McDonald hacks it away. Killian Bruder though. 
tries to find Stephen Walsh, just too much on it. Luke Dennison lets the ball go out for a Longford Town goal kick. Dennison to Ben Lynch. Finnerty with the header. Here he keeps it in play. Oh, lovely. Adam Thomas with the challenge. O'Keefe guides it forward. Dennison off his line. Pushes a pass to Elworthy. Elworthy to Power. Back to Elworthy. Power and Elworthy exchange passes once again. Inside to McMenemy. Barker to central defensive colleague McDonald. Hanratty to Power. Power. Barker. Side to Hanratty. Free kick given against Bastian here. And then Barker's charge through on Connor McCormack. Barker might get a caution here from Damien McGrath. Now Coffey is, is getting animated. He wants the fourth official involved um, to see. Did he see, see it? Because I, I think he was just turning his head. McGrath, in fairness, something he mightn't have seen what happened, but it was definitely a, a late challenge on, on McCormack. Well, there was a foul from Heary, no question about that. Longford were worthy of getting the free kick, but from this vantage point, Barker went through on McCormack, who's receiving some attention here from Galway United physio Richard Greer. Damien McGrath is going to issue a yellow card to Michael Barker. Don't think you can have too many complaints about that one, Ollie. No. Um, it could still be a free kick long for, but uh, you know he's probably getting away likely because if they did catch um, McCormick high, you know he, he, he suffered an injury like that earlier in the season as well, where he was forced off in the first half from a late challenge as well. So hopefully it's not um, too serious. For him. Free kick for the visitors, Dean McMenemy. I'm surprised he's moving the ball in there, King, because initially the free was out here in the sideline, that he's moving it a bit further in the pitch. Colin Fortune in the United Technical Area making the same point below us, Ali, but it will be a free kick for Dean McMenemy into the area. Header from James Finnerty. Clark takes it down for Longford Town. Has support from Elworthy, but instead opts to go forward himself. He wins a free kick. Good work there from Clark, and he's going to yellow card Ed McCarthy here. and just football is a strange game, Ollie. You saw those challenges. They weren't yellow cards in the first 10 or 15 minutes where Lynch got away with one. The far side, McDonald got away with one. And now he's opts to yellow card Ed McCarthy. There's no consistency in this season's SSE or Tristy League officiating, Ollie. Yeah, it's look at the, 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 the book and a lot of things that went on this year, Keen. But um, it was just quite probably that he was in a really attacking area where he, he was being held back on into the box and... Look, if it probably happened out the pitch, it would have been just a, a, a normal free kick and stuff like that. But he just said it, it was probably so close that he was away and that he had to so a yellow card to McCarthy. It's a great opportunity here for the visitors. And they have plenty of bodies committed forward. McGrath blasts the whistle. Free kick for Longford. Decent enough delivery, but United just get enough bodies back to deal with the situation Longford though still on the attack Robinson tries to cushion a pass through to Power Power does well Power to Hanratty Hanratty for Longford Ed McCarthy with the defensive work Connor Kearns claims safely under pressure there from Clark and Galway United goalkeeper Connor Kearns comes away with the football just needs to be careful McCarthy as it, the game goes on because it, it is it is getting a bit feisty at times and there's one or two late challenges to come to get, go in and especially when Galway after going ahead now Longford has to pick it up and apply a bit of pressure on Galway Caulfield with the touch there in the technical area Max Hemmings will take the throw in for United Hemmings to Heary Heary Guides the ball forward. Hurley goes in chase. Ben Lynch. There you go, he's a very intelligent player here. You know, he's he can see a pass and he knows that 
that side of the pitch is down this side here. He's only a couple of yards to the end line. Nice little weighted ball down the line um, to Hurley. Throw in again for Killian Bruder. The last one that was hurled into the area culminated in David Hurley steering Galway United one to the good in the 24th minute. Hurley is in the area. Finnerty, Walsh, McCarthy, Thomas, R2. Bruder with the throw in. Causes a bit of panic. Flashes across goal. Heary with the effort. Oh. Luke Dennison was cool and composed and he made the save, Ollie. Yeah, uh, look at all he can do is direct, direct it back on the goals, Heary, but uh, his position was good, the goalkeeper. Again, they've a bit of threat, you know, the, the, the two big guys and Thomas and Finnerty up for the throw ins. Uh, they're getting a bit of joy out of the two of them, they're flicking balls on at the near post. Hurley looking for Walsh. Walsh. And McDonald collide. Dennison with the clearance. Couldn't take any chances there. Luke Dennison clears the stand on the far side and it will be a throw in for United when Ben Connolly, the fourth official, he just rolls a replacement football into the centre of the park. Bastian Heary. Subsequently, Adam Thomas send it across in the direction of Conor O'Keefe. McDonald with the header. Power advances for Longford Town. Good work from Power. O'Keefe with an excellent challenge to Dave Hurley. Hurley turns out and finds Ed McCarthy Elworthy with the tackle. Firm but fair. Throw in from McCarthy to Dave Hurley. Hurley with the cross. Stephen Walsh climbs high. Just couldn't get sufficient purchase on his header, Ollie. Yeah, he did well. A great pull in by Hurley. Um, probably should have went to the other post. Normally he would, but he went to the near post and probably didn't get enough purchase on it. Um, to get enough power in it. Thomas to Dave Hurley. Hurley for United. Ed McCarthy has been very effective. His cross headed away by Ben Lynch and Mick McDonald. Hemmings to Heary. McMenemy does well to pick out Clark on the far side for Longford. Clark is an inventive player, tricky footballer. Clark. Wins a free kick. There's a yellow card here. Galway United can have too many complaints about that one. Conor O'Keefe with a the challenge there on Clark. Will be a free kick, and I'm sure it'll be a yellow considering the soft one that was given a couple of minutes ago, but maybe not. Funny game football, Ali. Yeah, look at it. Again, he's a trash keen. We said it earlier on coming in from the sideline. He drops the shoulder. He's a nice bit of skill about him, and he's a bit of acceleration as well, getting away from, from uh, O'Keefe. But uh, giving away a, a free kick in a dangerous area. Great chance here for Longford Town. McMenemy and Robinson stand over the free kick. McGrath just checks that all is in order. Longford have posed a couple of questions in recent moments. It's always rising though, that effort from Dean McMenemy. Played well today, go with though. Uh, they, everybody seems to be on their game. They're, they're doing things simple. They're chasing things down. There's a nice bit of work rate about the whole team this evening, and uh, you know a couple of challenges in their own the middle of the park as well. They're very important for lifting the crowd and lifting the team. You know, a few minutes ago there, Thomas had a challenge, a puncher in the middle, and won the challenge. It broke to one of the goal players. They're vital as well in, in games like this. Gary Cronin had a word there with Ben Connolly, no doubt, wondering how a yellow card wasn't issued, but. Shinch Galella. Clearance there from Shane Elworthy. It'll be another throw in for Galway United. Conor O'Keefe. As Dave Hurley has an option. Ed McCarthy too. McCarthy. Does well to hold on to possession. Good work there from Ed McCarthy. Cross into the area. Bastian Heary gets there ahead of Ben Lynch. Heary. Good footwork from Heary. Great cross from Heary. Elworthy. Splendid header there under pressure. Shane Elworthy. And Darren Clark carries the ball forward. Conor McCormick though has possession back for Galway United. Conor O'Keefe 
just around the corner pass didn't work out on that occasion and Elworthy quickly takes the throw into Mick McDonald back to Shane Elworthy Dean McMenemy looking for Jordan Adeyemo headed away by James Finnerty. Robinson nips in to win it back for the visitors Mark Hanratty to Ben Lynch Ben Lynch faced by Adam Thomas back to Aaron Robinson Robinson good pass from Robinson to Joe Power Power challenged by Connor McCormack McCormack does well throw in for Longford Town Power back to Lynch Hanratty has time for the opposite bring the ball towards the end line go cross though from Hanratty Ed McCarthy just steers it away Robinson wants to take it quickly for the visitors Elworthy to Robinson Clark and Conor O'Keefe for a chase free kick given against Darren Clark it'll be a free kick for United on the far side, Connor Kearns goes across to get the football at the clubhouse end of Eamon DC Park. Good for parts of the game as well, Keane. You know, going into the last eight or nine minutes of the half, you know, Coffee will be doing this into them all week, you know, if we get ahead, game manage and see see things out, you know, we're ahead, we don't need to be obviously concede a goal, but just try and keep the ball and keep possession and just you know any occasion where we can milk the clock as well let's try and do it Mick McDonald with the header Adam Thomas for United to Conor McCormack McCormack to Ed McCarthy good tackle from Elworthy Clark back to Elworthy for Longford Mick McDonald presents himself as an option and he goes back to Luke Dennison who finds Ben Lynch Barker Hanratty well done, boys. McCleary with the challenge and Max Hemmings goes all the way back to Conor Kearns Adeyemu is quickly on the scene though McDonald well beat by Stephen Walsh Stephen Walsh in the air has to be a penalty oh, but Dean Neil McGrath somehow doesn't award a penalty James Kenny is out protesting I don't know what James Kenny's giving out about but Galway United supporters can't believe how a penalty wasn't awarded Ollie ah, look at it. I, I've seen it all now look at it it's not sort of we're trying to be biased because it's Galway United but he, he obviously got the ball um, beyond the, the centre half and, and he pulled to the ground do you know I know he's from the West of Ireland but we're but trying to be impartial but look at it looked blatant from here Debates rage around Eamon DC Park about how a penalty wasn't awarded there. You just look at the people in the stand here. Rick. Yeah, he's, in still, front of he's, us. he's still having to go to fourth official here, you know. Coffee, like, it, it looked blatant, to be perfectly honest. He was pulled to the ground. And here now, look. Free what's the difference? The short, what's the difference? Caulfield just cannot believe what's happening. Ben Connolly is telling him to calm down, but Caulfield certainly seems to have some sort of a case. Incredible stuff here at Eamon DC Park. Yeah, looking for, oh, looking for a bit of consistency, Keane. You know, if he's given a free kick there for that, um, same thing happened on the far side. And, you know, if he's outside the box, a free kick all day long, just because it's into the box, you know, I have to be a small bit impartial here and not uh, give a penalty. Longford have possession, power checks what's on good little slide rule pass to Aaron Robinson Robinson to Clark who keeps it in play Elworthy now has yeah, they're very deep goal but they need to press out a bit get up the pitch header from Bruder Ben Lynch now for Longford under duress from Dave Hurley Lynch though does well to manufacture a yard of space Mark Hanratty has Dean McMenemy inside Power 
to Darren Clark. Clark faced by Conor O'Keefe. Challenge from Conor O'Keefe. Good work there from the United fullback. Throw in though for Longford Town. Eventful first half has unfolded here at Eamon DC Park. United do lead by a goal to nil. Certainly have cause for complaint at the decision there by referee Damien McGrath not to award a penalty kick much to the disbelief of the home support here at Eamon DC Park but Damien McGrath is the man that matters Longford on the attack now Wellworthy hooks it into the area Connor Kearns just lets the ball drift out for a Galway United goal kick yeah some of their their balls into the box and crossing the box today have been poor uh, by Longford standards compared to the last couple of games but to see Coffey on there still he's having a go still having a go with the fourth official you know he's not one bit happy over like a, a two goal margin going in a half time would have been a nice little cushion certainly would have been Ollie but peculiar things can happen in playoff games Max Hemmings steers it forward Hurley And Walsh, oh, back for Walsh on the swivel. Goalkeeper Dennison dealt with it adequately. Yeah, he's very good at, at, at holding people off and trying to get the ball down. His first touch is good, just couldn't get enough power, enough whip, and the, the, the shot at goal. Elworthy with the challenge on O'Keefe. Play on, says referee McGrath. Oh, Here he Lovely footwork there from Bastian Heary. Picks out Dave Hurley. Hurley to Conor O'Keefe. O'Keefe down the line to Ed McCarthy. McCarthy faced by Shane Elworthy. Back to Conor O'Keefe. You know, he's a captain, Conor McCormack. With the cross into the area. Just beats everyone except goalkeeper Luke Dennison. The first thing McCormack there now at our time came is drive on himself. Uh, um, and commit one of the defenders out for maybe a, a, a little slip ball to one of the Galway attackers. Ben Lynch for Longford Town. Joe Power back to Ben Lynch. Tidy football inside Longford. Thomas with the challenge. Gary Cronin just feeds the ball to Longford captain Aaron Robinson who leaves it for Ben Lynch as the interval approaches here at Eamon DC Park here he wins oh. it back in the second attempt followed by Robinson free kick for Galway United he's done very well today here he's probably been the pick of the, of the, the Galway United players he's, he's control he's just an intelligent player and good on the ball and um, everything he's done today he's done well in fairness to him Connor Kearns the United Custodian comes out to take this free kick. In front of the watchful eye of John Caulfield. Aaron Robinson. Guides it forward. Power. Done well for Longford. Finnerty comes across and oh, okay. so does O'Keefe. Great fullback play there from O'Keefe initially, but the ball spills finally for Adeyemu, who tumbles in the area. Longford have a case for a penalty themselves, and referee McGrath doesn't give it. James Kenny is on the pitch. Gary Cronin isn't happy. I, I and know what, okay. <laughs> that was a penalty. He was just about to pull the trigger, and he just seemed to be clipped uh, from the back. And look at, I, I'd say the place would have went mad if he'd given the penalty there. Uh, look at it, it's a case, okay, that balances it out now. We won't have a go to half time. <laughs> definitely to me look like a penalty absolutely Ollie from this vantage point Longford Town seem to have a significant case for a penalty kick there no more than Galway United's won a matter of moments earlier but again contentious decisions in the first half here and unfortunately that's been a familiar theme throughout the season for a lot of teams Ollie yeah but even th th that O'Keefe did very well to get back in and dispossess the, the Longford player and it seems to take a split second too long and it was blocked down and we should have just turned around and whipped the ball away even if you put out a touch that um, we'll ask questions then and we regroup and, and get behind the ball but um, kind of we seem to be creating our own problems at times Keane 
Robinson for Longford. Entertaining first half here at Eamon DC Park. No shortage of incident or drama. Clark for Longford. Dispossessed by Conor O'Keefe as Ben Connolly, the fourth official, indicates that there will be one minute of additional time at the end of this half. I'd be surprised if, if the two managers are not waiting for the referee at half time. Adi Emu. Looked for a free kick there. Not given by Peary to Hemmings. Michael Barker for Longford to Shane Elworthy. All eyes will definitely be on referee Damien McGrath as he leaves the pitch at half time. Power. to Clark O'Keefe to David Hurley Hurley Longford have it back momentarily but Ed McCarthy then just guides it forward Walsh goes in chase McDonnell has to go back to Luke Dennison Dennison back to Mick McDonnell as referee Damien McGrath blasts a half time whistle um, you know it must be something that he picked up because there's no way he'd have come off it because of um, playing poorly McMenemy to Elworthy, Thomas wins it back for United. And Mick McDonald, the Longford Town centre half with a clearance, takes a deflection off Stephen Walsh. Conor O'Keefe keeps it. Moving forward, but it will be a throw in for Longford Town. Throw in for Shane Elworthy for the visitors. McMinnamy. But it will be a throw in for Galway United again. Right on halfway. Killian Bruder with the header down to Conor O'Keefe. O'Keefe looks for Stephen Walsh. No flag yet. Goalkeeper Luke Dennison gathers. Straight swap, Bolly, Mikey Roach seems to be coming in on the right there where Bastian here he operated in the first half. Yeah, look, at he, as I said, he came on during the week and made a huge impact. We were kind of surprised he didn't re retain his um, place this evening after, after getting the two goals against Langford during the week. But look, at he's a big squad of players, um, Caulfield, and, and as I said before the game, anybody that comes in has to do well and he's looking for the bench to make an impact as well, which he did during the week and uh, Roach did exceptionally well. Bruder with the throw in. Thomas with the header. Walsh and Hurley. Roll with the volley. Just couldn't direct that one on target in the area. And it will be a goal kick for Longford Town goalkeeper Luke Dennison. Like Caulfield again will be looking for a good high press from his team. You know, he doesn't want to give any confidence to this Longford team because it will hurt you if you stand off them. McDonald and Barker options if Dennison wants to go short instead. He goes direct, looking for Darren Clark. Clark does well to hold off Conor O'Keefe. Back to Ilworthy. Free kick for Longford Town. Do you know, uh, O'Keefe had that sorted there, so he had, he had him come back the way. And, and, you know, it's a silly foul to give away again from McCormack. Just, you know, he, force him back. That's all you can do is set him into little traps and put him back towards his own players. Gary Cronin has a word with Damien McGrath. Not happy about something. Gary Cronin. Clark is okay to continue. And Dean McMenemy will take this free kick for Longford Town. McMenemy steers it into the area. Headed away by Killian Bruder. Ed McCarthy heads it forward. Elworthy though has possession once again for Longford Town. Looking for Clark. Good header from McCarthy and Dave Hurley adds to it. Stephen Walsh in a race now with Ben Lynch. Walsh does ever so well to skip inside Ben Lynch. Brilliant work from Stephen Walsh. Gets into the area. Lynch with a challenge. Walsh back to Mikey Rowe. Oh, Rowe yes, with a brilliant save from Luke Dennison. And Galway United nearly at a second goal. But a fine save from Dennison to thwart Mikey Rowe, Ollie. Yeah, look at as a defender getting back at Stephen Walsh that time. Look, all he did was, was he slowed him up and he, he did get back on him. But he forced Walsh to put a ball across the, the back. But it, the keeper made a serious save to keep out uh, Mikey Rowe. Goal kick given there by the assistant Chris Campbell. But a lovely bit of skill as well from Walsh to get away from the defender. He just tipped it inside him and got around him and 
you know, he's been doing that all season. But, um, just looking at the goal scoring charts, I think he's two behind pa- Patterson from Waterford. So look at he'd be hoping to maybe to go draw close to him t- tonight or maybe a good goal or two back. Header from McDonald. Clark just beaten to it there by Conor O'Keefe. Ed McCarthy to Dave Hurley. Hurley for Galway United. Hurley down the line to Ed McCarthy. McCarthy with the left foot across. Just kept in play on the far side by Mikey Rowe. Rowe to Max Hemmings. Hemmings with the cross. Dave Hurley to Adam Thomas. Hanratty has possession back for Longford Town. And Ben Lynch just gets the ball forward. McCormack to Mikey Rowe. Rowe foul there by Ben Lynch. Free kick for Galway United. Yeah, good start to the second half from Galway. You know, they're starting on the front foot. Look, they're hungry now to get a second goal. And if they do, look, at it, it's a bit of a cushion we possibly need um, for the remainder of the game. Rowe has been lively in the third quarter so far. Was denied there by Luke Dennison. Free kick. Nonetheless, for Galway United on the far side, Dave Hurley and Conor McCormack. Great crowd here for, for a Sunday evening, Keane, as well. It bring you back to the 80s, coming back to Sunday games in, in Terryland Park when Galway used to play here. Dave Hurley with the free kick goes into the area. Stephen Walsh with the header, just unable to steer it on target. Yeah, Affinity was coming behind him. Maybe he didn't show, but look at it, he had a better um, position than Walsh. Walsh was always stretching. Dennison with the goal kick here for Longford Town again McDonnell and Michael Barker present themselves as options if Dennison wants to go short but it looks as if he's going to once again look for Clark who's beaten in the air by O'Keefe, Dave Hurley oh. takes it forward foul there by Mick McDonnell straight into the face he got the elbow yellow card for Mick McDonnell McDonnell fortunate to escape a caution in the first half early on in the game gets a yellow card for that challenge on David Hurley Ed McCarthy is just having a word with Damien McGrath Conor O'Keefe too but it will be a free kick for United yellow card for Mick McDonnell and Richard Greer the Galway United physio just on the pitch checking that David Hurley is okay to continue and Hurley the Cork man appears to be okay might be some blood another player who's done well tonight Hurley you know he's you know more advanced role he's, he is a threat he's, he's nice footwork nice range of passing as well he's, he's done quite well this evening for Galway Galway United crowd not too far away from that incident in full voice the Maroon Army like he's asking him there to, you know, to get treated for the blood in his face um, you know, so he has been looking at that. It was a serious injury where he lifted the hand or lifted the elbow and caught him right into the face. Free kick for Conor McCormack. For Galway United. The skipper raises his left arm. Right foot a delivery from McCormack. Dennison punches it away. Looks as if it'll be a corner kick for Galway United. Seems to be words there between Dennison and one of the United players who's been restrained. I think he initially got a punch on the ball, but as he was um, stepping over him, he seems to have catch him with his boot. So that's what, that's what, why he's getting so animated. I think it was Thomas. Looked to be Adam Thomas, yeah. Wasn't happy about what happened. Hard to see precisely what occurred, considering so many bodies were in the area. Dennison had a stint, of course, here with Galway United last season. For the second part of the campaign, Referee McGrath having a word now with Luke Dennison and Adam Thomas. Like this is all good for Galway as well, you know, because it's you know 
it's frustrating for obviously for Longford they need to get a goal back they need to get up the pitch but all this kind of thing is burning the, the clock as well Keen for um, Galway and playing into their hands yellow cards issued to Luke Dennison and Adam Thomas Dave Hurley just waits for clearance to come back on the pitch. And Hurley will go straight across to take this corner kick for Galway United. High stakes match, Ollie. All on the line. Passionate. Players from both sides very much involved and eager to earn a playoff decider in the first division against Waterford FC next Friday evening corner kick for Dave Hurley for the home team goes into a packed area header from Finnerty Dennison somehow keeps it out good save again there from Luke Dennison Ollie. yeah look at him he, he did extremely well um, to get Anton on any bit of purchase on it but um, and he reacted as well to get the ball as well the second time of asking throw in for Longford Jordan Adiemu thought about taking it quickly Side to Hanratty, McCormick oh, with the challenge. challenge. Hanratty might be the next player carded by referee Damien McGrath. Mark Henry, Hanratty, yellow carded. So four yellow cards in the third quarter thus far. Um, they seem to be introducing Master Rusin, the Longford attacker. So um, just speaking there while I was to Gordon Brett, he's on about Sam Burton. Sam Verdon as well been a trade he's been on the bench but he said he did his collarbone down at loan so maybe he's not 100% um, this evening Keen, uh, Keen Corbley as well could be set to enter the action too tidy footballer Corbley Keen Corbley is going to replace Ben Lynch Hanratty will go back left full Seems. Free kick taken by Connor Kern, Stephen Walsh to Mikey Rowe. Hanratty now operating at left full. Wins a throw in for Longford Town on the far side. Ed McCarthy just urges his United players to push forward to put Longford under a bit of pressure nice little touch there from Corbally following his introduction McCormack tussles with power McCormack with the header Robinson to Shane Elworthy Elworthy has time and space to carry the ball into the United half Shane Elworthy to Darren Clark Clark back to Elworthy Hurley has been industrious for United good challenge from Hurley throw in for Longford Town taken by Shane Elworthy Corbley eager to make an impact switches the play picks out Hanratty Hanratty to Joe Power Power inside to McMenemy strong challenge from Hurley Walsh and Robinson collide McDonnell leaves it for Elworthy Elworthy inside to Power Power faced by Adam Thomas good ball from Power just didn't work out the idea though was clever McCarthy to Conor O'Keefe header from Robinson to McMenemy Thomas with the challenge Elworthy to Corbley Corbley with the foul on Ed McCarthy Gary Cronin not happy with the decision but free kick for Galway United uh, good play by McCarthy he knew the challenge was coming and uh, just got his body in the way forced him into um, giving away a free kick James Keddy gives his view too Cronin patrols the technical area not happy Bruder with the free kick for Galway United Stephen Walsh with the header goes out for a Longford Town goal kick Dennison short to McDonnell Mick McDonnell back to Luke Dennison Conor McCormack with the header It'll be another goal kick for Long for Town. <laughs> A 
Adeyemi with the header for Longford. Bruder with the clearance. Mick McDonnell looking for Clark. Killian Bruder. A good challenge. Takes a deflection off Clark. Throw in for Galway United. And the home crowd salute Killian Bruder's efforts there. Yeah, he's a huge player to be back this part of the season. Bruder, you know, he's big presence. And um, both boxes, and you know, he's, he's obviously he's a threat as well from his throw ins and set pieces. Stephen Walsh to Dave Hurley. Hurley charges forward for United. Hurley with the cross. Mikey Rowe has possession, turns, shoots, takes a deflection off Mark Hanratty and goalkeeper Luke Dennison is untroubled. Dennison to Dean McMenemy. McMenemy tries to put Adiemu away. Finnerty with the header. Mikey Rowe. Good challenge there for McMenemy to win it back for the visitors. Aaron Robinson wins a free kick for Longford. Quickly taken to Keane Corbley. Corbley, Joe Power. Thomas with the challenge. McMenemy does enough to win it back for Longford. Nice skill there from Dean McMenemy. Joe Power. Power, lovely reverse pass to McMenemy. McMenemy from an acute angle. Back to Robinson. Robinson with the effort. Saved by Kearns. Adiemu just beat to it there by McCormack. Foul given against Jordan Adiemu following that challenge on Connor McCormack. But Longford Town, the skill and invention of McMenemy evident there, Ollie. Yeah, lovely bit of player. Um, nice intricate passing up, up the top half of the pitch. But look at sometimes the whale when like to go over there the, the, the Kearns especially hadn't had much to do during the games so it's vital that he stays concentrated and like that he was needed to be called upon there and could say a good reaction save just past the hour mark here at Eamon DC Park still all to play for United lead by a goal to nil but Longford very much in the promotion reckoning still too Hemmings with the header, throw in for Longford Town on the far side. In front of Longford Town's visiting supporters. Like I said at the start of the game, Keane, there's nothing really between these two teams. This is the sixth time they've played each other this year, and you know, th there's been minimal really between both teams. They've won two, goal of one one, and the rest have been draws, but um, the moment goal we lead here, so it could be 2 2 2 all the way. Clark for Longford Town with the cross, but the assistant Chris Campbell had the flag up, deemed that the ball had gone out of play and it will be a goal kick for Connor Kearns. John is pacing up and down the sideline, uh, wanting to get the lads going again. You know, he knows it's a huge game for the club. Since 2018, Longford Town have won eight of their 14 games against Galway United. Three draws and three Galway United victories during that spell. So they have a really good record against Galway United overall in the previous encounters involving the clubs. United have won 22, 15 draws, 19 Longford wins. So in the past number of years, Longford have enjoyed a productive stint against Galway United United won to the good here with Killian Bruder taking this throw in rifled into the area Hurley just couldn't get it under control McCormack and Rowe get the ball forward Hanratty tries to get Longford on the front foot again Adiemu just beaten to it there by Hemmings Hanratty takes it down Barker to Hanratty Hanratty Adiemu scored twice on Wednesday for Longford. Did well to find Corbley. Who picks out McMenemy. Oh, Great yeah. challenge there from Adam Thomas on Dean McMenemy. Free kick for Galway United. <laughs> the 
McCormack leaves it for Killian Bruder to take. Ball goes out for Ilong for Town. Goal kick. Yeah, I was, wasn't sure it was Mikey Rowe come behind him for the ball over his head, but comes to nothing. Luke Dennison with the goal kick. McCormack quickly puts Shane Elworthy under pressure. Elworthy back to Mick McDonald. Ed McCarthy working tirelessly for United. Stephen Walsh similarly so. Dennison hooks it away. Robinson with the header. Bruder drills it forward. McCarthy to Conor O'Keefe. O'Keefe to Dave Hurley. Hurley will do well to keep it in play. Just beaten to it by inches. Yeah, McCarthy's done well tonight as well on the wing, Keane. He's, he's, he's chasing off a lot of lost causes as well for the team. And, you know, he's, he's great energy levels and f to, to keep chasing things down. Elworthy to McMenemy. Elworthy to Corbley, who wants to knit things together for Longford. Max Hemmings, though, has a back for the home team. Max Hemmings scored three league goals and one FAI Cup goal for United 2022 power Bruder with the clearance Elwardy at the second attempt again Bruder comes across to clear the danger Walsh <laughs> McDonald collide free kick given against Stephen Walsh John Caulfield simply turns around in the technical area and that tells the tale yeah. the back four and the goalkeeper for Galway tonight have been very solid Keane. they haven't put a foot wrong all evening you know, just doing things nice and simple and just winning the challenges and getting the ball up as, as best they can up to the front that's Hurley wins it back for United Hurley to Mikey Rowe, Rowe. foul there by Robinson free kick for Galway United midway through the second half here Ben Connolly spending a lot of time near the United Technical Area. Standing in the United Technical Area at the moment. Colin Fortune and John Caulfield issue some instructions. Free kick for Dave Hurley. Hurley's delivery towards Thomas at the back oh. post. His header. And Longford saved by the woodwork. Adam Thomas connected with Hurley's inviting free kick. Yeah, it's going to be one of those games, Kim, where we're going to have to sweat all the way through to the 90th minute. Uh, look, another great chance here to pull us, give us a bit of a cushion from Thomas. He possibly, possibly should have scored. Look, he did well and get the header on, on target, but um, I just hope we won't rue this, this chances later on. Shane Elworthy with the throw in for Longford Town into Dean McMenemy. McMenemy back to Elworthy. Mick McDonald to Luke Dennison. Dennison picks out Mark Hanratty. Hanratty advances into the United half. Nice work there from Hanratty. Switches the play to Darren Clark. Ed McCarthy providing yeah. valuable assistance to Conor O'Keefe, who has been very solid this evening, Ollie. Yeah, look at the, the They all know the danger he has, Clark, when he gets on the ball. But the, the lads have done very well tonight. They've doubled up on him as best they can most of the time. But. Uh, because they've, they've kept him quiet. Stephen Walsh to Dave Hurley. Gets there just ahead of Mick McDonald. Hurley with the left foot across towards. Stephen Walsh eventually headed away by McMenemy and Corbally. McCormack has it back for the home team. Drives it out at Max Hemmings. Hemmings dispossessed by power for Longford who break quickly. Adi Amu tries to get up in support as does Keen Corbally. Corbally is an option if power can pick him out but power goes towards the back post where Clark just about keeps it in play O'Keefe stands his ground well though good full back play there from Conor O'Keefe his clearance taken down by Shane Elworthy Dave Hurley hooks it forward Stephen Walsh is inside Dennison is off his line Dennison did well to gather under pressure from 
the ever willing, the ever bustling Stephen Walsh. Yeah, look at another great run, a nice ball by Hurley. The keeper anticipated possibly that it was going to finish up outside the box, but look at there's enough pace in the ball that he could chase back in and, and get it back into his hands. Barker's pass didn't reach its intended target there, and Connor Kearns picks the ball up. Wilson Waweru warming up for United. Rob Manley too. Walsh with a challenge on Elworthy. Ed McCarthy for Galway United. Elworthy with a challenge corner kick for Galway United. Again, he did well. McCarthy, you know, he, he knew he was running out of space and, and d- drew the, in the defender just to clear it out for a corner. But look at him. something might come of this now from this set piece. McCormick, the decorated Galway United captain who's won it all in the domestic game, vastly experienced player. The United captain and talisman will take this corner kick. But where ruin Manley, watch on. McCormick with the corner. Dennison claims at the front post. Good goalkeeping there from Dennison, who quickly throws it out the direction of Clark. Hurley. With the challenge, and McCormick gets a connection too, but Joe Power wins it back for Longford, and Conor O'Keefe charges through with that brilliant challenge there to deny the visitors. Yeah, very solid uh, again from O'Keefe. Um, smelling the danger early and, and um, clearing his lines into the attack, and look, that probably should have happened in the first half, and that clearance was blocked on, but okay, he's, he's learned from it. Ed McCarthy to Stephen Walsh, no flag yet. Yeah, he's given out to McCarthy. Look, he wants something that he can chase. Um, you know, he's, he's they're giving him balls here that that Carl Lewis in his day wouldn't catch. In fairness to McCarthy, though, he's been selfless this evening, Ollie. He's given everything he has oh, for he United. Has. He has. Look at it. I don't think anybody really has a, had a poor game this evening. They've all worked worked well, and you know we've. Uh, been unfortunate not to be ahead, you know. Obviously, the penalty in the first half, and the one from uh, Thomas here uh, just about five minutes ago that come off the post. Longford, though, still very much in the game. McMenemy looking for Adi Yamu, who keeps the ball in play. Back to Hanratty. Hanratty, the left foot across. McCormick with the header. Thomas with another header. Robinson with the long range effort. And it goes into the car park behind Conor Kern's goal. Ben Connolly, the fourth official, quickly issues a replacement football. James Keddy is out, having a word. Familiar sight. Now, the aim was chase last causes this evening himself. You know, he's, he's, he's done a lot of running there. You know, he's, he's feeding off scraps most of the evening up top as well for Longford Town. But he's, he's done quite well any time he's got on the ball, he, he's looked a threat. Kearns will take this goal kick for United. Tight and tense at Eamon DC Park. Header there from Hanratty. McMenemy. Corbally. Robinson. Tried to put Adi Emu away. Corbally does that. Kearns races from his line. Clearance towards Stephen Walsh. Walsh just can't get there in time. Dennison quickly off his line gets the game back underway to Mick McDonnell Shane Elworthy Elworthy to Darren Clark Clark back to Elworthy Elworthy tries to put Clark away Bruder with the clearance throw in for Longford Town a lot of people watching the game as well around uh, d- different countries this evening again Danny Darcy is, is tuned in watching us this evening in Tenerife um, a great s- support of Goa buys a season ticket every year and gives it to charity um, a legend in, in Tenerife and in Galway absolutely Danny Darcy 
looked after members of her own families, Ollie, there in recent weeks in Tenerife. So it always acknowledge Danny Darcy's passion for Galway United and absence makes the heart grow fonder. And I'm sure people throughout the world who bo follow both Galway United and Longford Town are tuned in wherever they are in the world, eager to watch their team progress. But at the moment, United have won to the good. Longford, though, have to deal with another set piece here from the home team as Caulfield has a word with David Hurley and Conor McCormack Ben Connolly again stands in front of the United technical area Colin Fortune issues a few instructions too free kick for United looks as if it'll be McCormack to take McCormack with a decent delivery Dennison with the punch corner kick for United yeah, very unlucky there. Uh, any slight uh, touch by any of the goal were attackers and that was in the keeper had himself committed. Hurley, the goal scorer, will take the next corner kick for United. Again. United have lots of bodies committed forward David Hurley with the corner kick for John Caulfield's side decent delivery Dennison with the punch Conor O'Keefe with the shot blocked there from McMenemy Clark wins a free kick for Longford yeah, again another half chance there from O'Keefe it probably came at him too quick um, half a chance here for Galway to extend their lead Dennison to Michael Barker Barker back to Mick McDonnell McDonnell looks forward Hemmings heads it away Robinson who has worked very hard for the Longford cause this evening Wins it back. Power has shown some clever touches at stages. McCormack. McDonald with the header. Again, Robinson pushing the pass to Mark Hanratty. Back to Robinson. He looks for Adiemu. Oh, yeah, Adiemu. Lovely touch from Jordan Adiemu. Turn swivels. And the ball goes wide. That was a real opportunity there for Jordan Adiemu. Excellent approach work from Aaron Robinson. Yeah, look, it was a fabulous ball and a, f a fantastic touch by Adiemu. You know, we were all waiting for him just to turn around and, on the swivel and, and put in the back of the net. But look, that's the threat Keen we're talking about. We're going, we need the extra goal just to be, you know, a, a small bit, um, you know, relaxed in, in the closing stages of the game. Dean McMenemy is going to be replaced here for the closing stages by Sam Verdon. Verdon has scored seven goals this season in the league for Longford Town. Yeah, he's a threat, Verdon, so he's, you know, he's a good player. Um, you know, been around the game a long time. Has played in the League of Ireland with St. Patrick's Athletic in Harps and Bray Wanderers, of course. Connor Kearns with the goal kick. Strong defensive header there from Michael Barker. Verdon and Robinson do enough to get the ball forward for Longford Town. Verdon hacks it forward once again. Header away there by James Finnerty. Connor McCormack to Connor O'Keefe. McDonnell with the header to Shane Elworthy. Elworthy down the line to Darren Clark. Connor O'Keefe. Yeah, well watched again by O'Keefe. Do you know, I, I just I'd like to see Galway United get it down again in the ground, Keane. A lot of balls have just been hit high in the air up to the forwards and go and chase that, you know, give, give them something that, that they can, you know, get, take it down maybe in one touch or two touches. Free kick given against Killian Bruder there by the assistant Chris Campbell, who flagged furiously. And it will be a good chance here for Longford Town. Ferdin, McDonnell, Barker, Adiemu. All in the area at the moment. Aaron Robinson is just about to join them. Keen Corbley will take this free kick. Three, 
Keen Corbley to take for Longford Town. Left footed delivery towards the back post. Header there from Clark, it seems. Just couldn't direct it on target, Ali. Yeah, um, good ball in, you know, a lot of movement in the box again, but look, just as, as a manager, Corvo, just delighted to see you go over the bar and another minute gone off the clock again and just regroup. And, you know, as, as they, they're, they're running out of time as well, Longford, to, to try and get back into this game. But as I said all along, Keane, we'd just like to see you know a bit more quality when we get into the other part of the pitch. We can get it down on the ground and get playing again because um, you can see they're trying to see out the game goal, but you just feel the threat you now with the extra players coming on for Longford that you know that, that we might be caught at the death. Ten minutes or, or so of normal time remain. As we mentioned earlier, they're tuning in from all over the world. A message just shooting through there from Francis Kelly. Former Galway United commercial manager tucking into the game in Lisbon. Hope he's enjoying the game and fair play to him for sending over a bit of sun today after a wretched day yesterday. Wasn't too bad in the west of Ireland. Today, the rain has stayed away so far, but there's still plenty of time left for that to change as we know around these parts. Luke Dennison for Longford Town. Elwardy with the header. Corbally with another header for Longford and Corbley to Jordan Adiemu or Adiemu hits the deck play on says referee McGrath Verdon try the pass Adiemu with the effort oh. Connor Kearns with the save yeah he played the advantage there he felt there was a foul there on Adiemu and um, as the play went on the ball broke for him and uh, made a shot of goal but again you know th th there's a, a threat all the time now with every attack that Longford or you know the the, the have a three or four chances there in the last say five minutes, you know, half chances on goal. Robinson to Elworthy, Stephen Walsh goes and puts him under a bit of pressure. Conor O'Keefe, the coolest man in Eamon DC Park, with the header to Ed McCarthy. Walsh battles with McDonald. Free kick given by Damien McGrath. For what? That remains to be seen. Nice to see the crowd getting vocal now, Keane, trying to, you know, raise a go with the last 10 minutes, you know, and put a bit of fire in them again. Absolutely, because Longford have had a little spell here. Went close on a couple of occasions, and they have the footballers to cause Galway United some problems. McDonald again picks out Keane Corbley, who's managed to find... Aaron Robinson, Robinson looks for Joe Power, Power has buzzed about throughout this evening's game, his cross blocked by Conor O'Keefe, Killian Bruder with the clearance, brave header there from Mick McDonald, throw in for Galway United, Rob Manley set to be introduced here Oli for the closing stages. Yeah he did very well last week, he got two great goals in the fixture here um, last Friday but um, David Hurley going off this evening he, he, he's put in a great shift he's got the goal um, but his general play has been quite good um, he's playing a more advanced role this evening with, with, with uh, McCormick and Thomas holding the central midfield position but he can be proud of his uh, shift that he put in this evening Manley replaces David Hurley header from Clark for the visitors Adam Thomas wins it back for United and then Damien McGrath gives the home team a free kick. Gary Cronin just raises his arms. He's not happy. It looks like Manley's going in um, up top and Stephen is going in the number 10 roller, but we'll wait and see how this develops. Bluder with the free kick. Mark Hanratty for Longford under pressure from Adam Thomas, who has been industrious this evening Longford though managed to pass their way out of trouble and then Power fizzes a pass out to Clark Clark a tricky player looks for Adiemu Adiemu will keep this in play Jordan Adiemu started the season with Galway United has made a significant impact with Longford Town Conor O'Keefe just whacks it away Rob Manley 
Goes in chase. Hanratty has possession now for Longford. To Sam Verdon. Back to Mark Hanratty. Hanratty to Mick McDonald. Kean Corbley. Joe Power for the visitors. Shane Elworthy to Kean Corbley. Corbley faces a shot. Ooh. And Connor Kearns claims. Yeah, again, good hands by Kearns. Like Anthony's been called on tonight. He's done very well. Um, everything has stuck to him there. Just a, a slight spill there over his hands, but look, he, oh, the quickest to react again. Connor Kearns just lets his team back into position. Header from Mark Hanratty. McGerson set to be introduced by Longford. He has a good record against United this season. Haven't scored here and at Bishop's Gate. McCarthy with the left foot across. Manley with the header. Just couldn't steer it on target, Ollie. Yeah, just put him behind him slightly, but um, nice ball in by McCarthy. He's put in a, a couple of nice foot balls this evening with his left foot. Um, Number 16, Christian McGerson replaces Darren Stewart Clark. To to Closing stages of this. That's the five minute warning, really, if you came in to hear that um, announcement. So, look at it, it's about game managing all at this stage, you know, kind of keep the ball up the pitch and, and try and keep possession of the ball. Manley does well to fend off. Michael Barker's challenge. Manley wins a throw in for United. Killian Bruder will go across to take. Gary Cronin instructs Jordan Adiemo to stay pressed high up the pitch to not go back to lend any assistance on this occasion. And like that as well, look at go there, the, the three on one situation defensively, you know. The, this stage now we, we, we hold what we have really goal ahead and clean sheet Bruder with a throw in header from Ferdin at the front post it seems ball lands at Robinson's feet he guides it forward Connor Kearns is off his line and he just pumps it forward couldn't take any chances good goal keeping there from Connor Kearns throw in for Shane Elworthy Corbally and McGerson are options. Goes short to McGerson. Elworthy to Jordan Adiemu. Adiemu holds it up well. Picks out Aaron Robinson. Robinson to Sam Verdon. Verdon to Power. Power. Back to Verdon. Verdon with the cross into the area. Connor Kearns gathers safely. Cronin and Keddy deep in conversation. United look for a corner kick. Goal kick given though. Caulfield again has a word with Ben Connolly. Conor McCormick with the header. Ed McCarthy. Dashes into the Longford area. Good challenge there again from Robinson. McGurson and O'Keefe. But Adiemu has it for Longford as they break forward. O'Keefe with a good, firm tackle to win it back for the home team. Rob Manley to Connor McCormack. McCormack back to Max Hemmings. Hemmings looks for Rob Manley. Manley takes it down nicely. Good centre forward play there from Rob Manley. Has support from Captain Connor McCormack. McCormack back to Rob Manley. Manley nice picks play. out Max Hemmings. Max Hemmings with the cross into the area. Stephen oh. Walsh with the header. Yeah, yeah, I'd say he felt that there was probably a slight little tug on him as the ball came into him, but again, a chance for Galway. Goal kick for Longford Town. Luke Dennison will take. Max Hemmings and Sam Verdon can't get it under control. Throw in on the far side for 
Galway United, Max Hemmings will take. Goes down the line to Rob Manley. Manley does well to hold on to possession. Rob Manley towards Stephen Walsh. Good challenge though from Elworthy for Longford Power with a gorgeous touch to Sam Verdon. Verdon to Adi Emu. Adi Emu inside. Bruder though with the challenge to Mikey Rowe. Mikey Rowe to Stephen Walsh. Walsh to Ed McCarthy. McCarthy keeps it in play. Face by Shane Elworthy. Ed McCarthy for Galway United. Back to Conor O'Keefe. O'Keefe wins a throw in. Yeah, look at this. There's, there's going to be little half chances like that, Keen, as, as Longford ha have to gamble now at this stage of the game. We're, we're within minutes now. Um, last minute, uh, looking at the clock there, uh, they, they, they have to gamble and go. Oh, got a half a chance here from Manley, but he's trying to look for a better angle and pull it back for Stephen Walsh. Conor O'Keefe with the cross, Manley with the header. Max Hemmings keeps it in play. All eyes will be on Ben Conley in a couple of moments with the electronic board. Stephen Walsh with the header. Mikey Rose! Yes! Mikey Rose third goal against Longford Town this week. Going United 2 0 up. They're on the verge of beating Longford Town. Mikey Rose celebrates furiously. Going United lead Longford Town by two goals to nil. Yeah, all eyes were on, uh, thinking the ball was going to go to play, but Stephen Walsh, uh, once again, chasing lost causes and pushing the ball back down for Mikey Rowe to dispatch him to the back of the goals for put Goa 2-0 two, two ahead. And it says, we were made sweat all the way, Keen, and I said to you already, we're into the 90th minute now, and that's the, the bit of cushion we wanted, the game over, thank God. The Goa United song says, always believe in Mikey Rowe, and Rowe kisses his hand and salutes the Maroon Army. Because Galway United are on the verge of beating Longford Town here. And Rowe, his perseverance deserves to be rewarded. Two goals off the bench on Wednesday evening at Bishop's Gate. Another crucial one as a substitute against Longford Town here on Sunday. Four minutes of additional time will be played at the end of this game. Charlie Lines set to be introduced by United. But you know as well, Keane, tonight, I, I just think Galway got everything right. Tactically, you know, the, you know, the... The two lads in the middle kind of did did, did, did well, you know, they, they, they stopped the tread of, of Longford, but the back four have been excellent, and the goalkeeper as well have been called on, you know, they've, they've, O'Keefe has done very well over here, and Darren Clark, he's kept him quiet for most of the game, you know, a few times his bit of quality he has got in, but look, at more often than not, he's done fantastic. Adam Thomas, replaced by Charlie Lyons for the closing stage of this, of this game, and Adam Thomas can reflect with real satisfaction on his display here this evening too, he battled ever so well for the maroon cause the throw in for the visitors on the far side row with a challenge to win it back Longford though come away with it Hanratty to power Max Hemmings does enough lines with the header Stephen Walsh Robinson long range effort from Robinson always drifting wide Connor Kearns will not be in any hurry to take this goal kick. No, look, it's important as well tonight, Keen. Uh, you know, it is obviously uh, as we're looking at now, it's, it's kind of a quarter final and, uh, um, because of Waterford to play and hopefully get over that one as well to get to, to the playoff against possibly UCD now at this stage. But um, clean sheets are hugely important as well. You know, we've been conceding goals, you know, soft goals over the last while that if we can keep a clean sheet this evening, well, it's huge confidence for the whole team. Goal kick by Kearns. Elworthy. His clearance takes a deflection off Corbally. And it goes out for the Galway United throw in. Like over the season as well, Keane, Galway United had a, a, a run there of seven games of the one in the middle half of the season. But we've beaten Waterford twice and we've beaten Cork twice as well. You know, it's just a couple of games. We've had a couple of blips here and there during the season that we weren't in the shake up at the very end. But more often than not, we've been in. Um, kept Cork honest for most of the season this year Conor O'Keefe with the header Manley goes and chase McDonnell to Michael Barker Barker to Denison Mick McDonnell for Longford Town McDonnell with the crossfield pass Ferdin hooks it forward headed away by Finnerty Hemmings pumps it clear throw in for the visitors 
deep into stoppage time here Damien McGrath looks on the referee Barker has possession now for Gary Cronin's outfit Bruder with the header and Mikey Rowe one of United's heroes in this playoff tie three goals significant contribution Manley gets there ahead of McDonald. challenge from McDonald. throw in for Galway United Bruder will take as Diego Portilla about to be introduced for the dying seconds of this game but Galway United versus Waterford FC next Friday evening promises to be a very interesting encounter Waterford of course very much in form at the moment Hemmings into the area yes. 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 seals the deal Galway United 3 Longford Town nil. Ollie Neary, an opportunistic finish there from Rob Manley at the death. Yeah, look at Keane, we said it before the game. John is a huge squad, and the, the lads that have come off the bench this evening, Mikey Rowe and uh, Manley there as well, dispatched two goals, both of them in the last, say, 10 minutes. They have done exceptional, but um, I'm, I'm delighted for Manley as well. He's a good centre forward, you know. The minute he came into the club, I liked him. He's a good, able runner, you know, he's good in the air. He's intelligent when he gets the ball to feet as well. Seventh goal, we United goal for Rob Manley. Six in the league, one in the FAI Cup. Diego Portilla is going to replace Mikey Rowe. Who gets a deserved ovation from the Comer stand here at Eamon DC Park. Rowe came on at half time, made a goal scoring contribution, and Ronan Manning also set to be introduced for United and Manning will replace Ed McCarthy we'll get similar applause from the United faithful Ollie yeah look at uh, Rowan will be disappointed now just coming on later with this, the, the latter part of the game but um, John just giving them all a twist you know to get a bit of a, an applause coming off the pitch as well look they've all done great from during the season but um, you know we're, we're, we're nearly counting maybe 30 seconds left maybe one attack and at least Ronan has got a touch there so he'll be happy out Hemmings to Manning Galway United 3 Longford